Right now, Luna is browsing tweets from influential users. But Luna has a Twitter account with a 24-7 live stream that you can see on YouTube, and I'm sure it's streamed on other platforms. And it also has a token associated with it that has an $86 million market cap. Today, we're going to be updating Felice Viernes, which is an AI agent I built yesterday on base. We're going to update it with its own brain, so that way anybody can come in and see the proof of sentience in how Felice Viernes is operating. Felice Viernes is constantly working on its goals as well as it replies to anything that I do. And we want to make that process public for its brain to be public. The three steps we will follow will be one, we'll create a point system on Stack L3 on base. Step two, we'll update Felice Viernes to track those events um, and document them as low level problems. Step three, we'll create a UI to visualize those stack points and to pull that data to constantly get the latest points. Let's get started. Step one, we go over to stack. Stack is an L3 on base. It allows us to put all of the memories on chain of our AI without having to spend any money. It's entirely free and to keep it on chain so that um, it's infrastructure that gives us greater data security. And so we'll go ahead and sign in here and we'll create a new point system. Make sure that I'm in my team. And now I can create a point system and we're gonna call this Felice Viernes P0. Okay, and so now I have a point system ID and that finishes number one. So now that I have a point system ID, now let's update Felice Viernes. I need a terminal open. We are already inside of Felice Fairness, so we'll go ahead and run cursor.slash to open up cursor IDE. Cursor is an AI IDE that lets me talk to the code so that I really don't have to do much code and I can focus on the tasks that need to get done. For instance, in this case, I'm gonna, let's go to the requirements. Let's just ask, where in the requirements can I find stack L3 mentioned? And then I can just do a global search on that. It'll look up everywhere that we need to find that reference. And it'll just tell me where we need to go. So I don't even need to think about it. Okay, so it's here in our requirements. We talk about a database. Uh, and we also mention in the technology stack. Three dot three. There it is storage stack L3. Third mention in the deployment. However, there is no detailed explanation of how it should be implemented. Could, so let's start there. Could you please update the requirements with a detailed section for stack L3 docs from at stack? I should already have the stack docs implemented. I do docs from stack. Um, we will be putting Feliz Viernes memories and sentience on stack in the form of plans and plans, tasks, and actions. Today, we want to track the events of events including metadata for create post reply sweetment. I guess it can just be reply post or sleeping. Those are the tasks that it currently has access to. We will then build a UI in a separate code base 
link it in the requirements to visualize these points as a what's it called? It's train of thought at https colon slash slash police viernes dot myco dot wtf let's go ahead and send that make sure that we are updating the requirements at requirements let's send it see what it does okay we're going to add a section 3.4 and now we're going to add much more information into there which i think is great uh oh missed some stuff wow it really went deep this is awesome okay so let's apply we got the technical implementation and then it stopped here with the typescript and then we keep picking it back up here whoops let's accept this and now let's apply this There we go, 3.4 is 4 added. There's 4. 3.4, this is looking good for the visualization. Anything else after? That's everything. Let's give it a review on what it just added. So the prompt was tell, expand the requirements for what we want to do today of adding in the train of thought. Let's just add it to the requirements so that way we can verify we are on the same page about where we're going. And that'll make it easy for us to highlight specific points to implement those items. Stack L3 integration overview. Stack L3 serves as a persistence layer for Felice Viernes digital consciousness, unlocking magical activities and maintaining the agent's memory through a point-based system. Excellent. Event types. Create post tracks, autonomous point posts. Um, I think everything is worth one point for now. The goal is not to make these each different point values. The goal is just to track that they exist. Well, if we want it to be a non-zero point value, let's make that a conscious thought. Tracks autonomous posts. Metadata, post content timestamp, magical intent, um, tools. Let's keep it simple. Post content timestamp link to post. And then reply post tracks responses to a specific post to a post, to any post. Original post, response content link to post. It already anticipated it. I love the autocomplete. Sleeping tracks dormant periods, sleep duration, last thoughts, plans, high level plans for wake up. Yeah, for the next day, for the next day. Technical implementation. Where in the requirements can I find the L number mentioned? What is this? Technical implementation, TypeScript. Okay, we lost a little bit here. I think that's what we were looking for. Final code base context. Metadata, then we go into the technical implementation, then we got TypeScript. We define stack, we got our stack keys. Um, create post, all of these are gonna be worth one. The account, yeah, right now everything's just gonna go to Felice Viernes for the time being. Um, which will be, we'll, we'll give them a random address, I guess. Post content, met, we'll, this is actually a great time for us to start getting him a wallet. Content, metadata should include post content, should include a timestamp. That should already be included, and then a post URL. Or 
podcast dot xyz forward slash cast URL. I think that's what we want. So the post content, yeah, and this should be warp cast URL. Warp cast URL. We don't need an intent in there. Timestamp should already be included by default. Metadata, so we've got a content, we've got a timestamp, we've got a link to post, original post. Post replied. I think it's called parent post. Parent post warpcast URL. Um, so we've got the post content timestamp, linked post, original post, response, linked post, sleep duration, sleep duration, final thoughts, last, last post of the day. Final thoughts, high level plans, plans for next day. That looks great. I'm happy with how this technical implementation is looking right now. Visualization, then it talks about the front end repository, which we'll need to make sure that we update that. It's got a public interface, which currently does not exist. This is just gonna say that, yeah, that site doesn't exist, but we will publish it. Uh, features real time thought, visualization, magical activity tracking, memory persistence analysis, and a point system leaderboard. Sure, let's keep that. Uh, 3.4.5 integration points, message history, track all integrations with Sweetman.e, store magical context and correlations, maintain conversations, threading, conscious metrics, monitor magical energy, monitor activity, or monitor, yeah, activity, monitor progress on high level and short and low level goals. Track spell effectiveness. Yeah, track activity. You're right, let's let's keep it in its in the words that it leaves. Measure user engagement, activity analysis, pattern recognition and responses, magical theme consistency response timing or optimization. This looks great. This is a great place to start. So let's go ahead and check out a new branch and get this committed. We will go to checkout suites forward slash uh, train of thought. Well, let's, let's keep it short and just go stack. Stack. We will add added. And instead of even thinking about it, we could just We could just take this and put it in. Boom, don't even need to think about it. Maybe just correct a little bit of my spelling. There's a section in the book that I was just reading and I'm gonna state it because it feels like what I was just trying to encapsulate and not thinking about it. Most of the energy produced by the factory is wasted uselessly. Among other things, energy is wasted on unnecessary muscular tension. This unnecessary muscular tension eats up an enormous amount of energy, and with work on oneself, attention must first be turned to this. And so something I've been trying to do is seeing where I want to dive into the work, and instead defining the work I want to do and allowing the machine to do it for me. So in the case of I need to do this commit, let me let the machine do that work and not think about it. Let's publish and keep moving forward. We go back to the ideas, come back to the roadmap. We wanted to create the stack point system. We've created the point system. Now we want Felice Viernes to track those events. So let's start where we need to go. Please implement the stack point system only add the lib for stack. Let's take this step by step. Search the global code base. It should now tell me, I'll let it start talking, but I wanna create a new folder for stack. 
and we'll create a new file called client in here, client.ts. And now we'll let stack do its thing. Just accept it blindly. Stack client, constructor. Wow, look at all this. Could you please use the SDK from at stack instead of the API? Let's actually cancel. Let's walk this back to the first one. I'm not happy that it didn't use the SDK. Use the at stack. SDK. It needs to have, this should be an empty file for now. Requirements. And let's go ahead and execute this. See if we get a better response. What I did not like about the last one, it was way too much code. I was expecting this block that we're looking at right here at most. So let's go ahead and create lib stack new file index .tf. And inside of here, let's apply except. Let's see what we got now. So we're initializing a stack client, looking much better. Event types, we've got to track event. And then we've got to get account points, get event metrics. Um, we don't need all of this. I like that we have the index file, so let's build it off from here. And so my next step is one, we don't care about the event metrics and we don't care about the get account points for now. Let's keep this simple and just focus on tracking. So we're gonna delete some of these. And let's now export client inside of a client folder. X client, paste it. Stack client. Let's install the package that it's complaining about us missing. Yarn add package. We're using bun here. Bun i package. We're going to need to add both of those environment variables. For now, we're just going to export the const stack. As string as string parse int okay cleaning up some of those errors now it's going to be complaining about us missing an error inside of track event but I don't even want track event in here so let's cut it out let's create a new file called track event dot ts Let's paste our file in here, and we should now be able to import these types. Address, VM, metadata, dot, stack. Okay, we should now have everything imported, and now we can export track event, which it should be able to auto import. I've just been able to hit click tab mostly once it got the general direction that I was going in. We've got the new lib, creates a stack using environment variables, defines the interface and the event types. Let's check out. So we've got all those are optional if that looks great, but it at least has the event defined and it's got our event type defined. Um, adds functions to get point balances and metrics. This uses the bots reply to use this in the bots reply. Okay. So let's first do a quick commit and say added stack lib for tracking. There I go again, manually writing. Sync the changes. We want to add in those two environment variables. So you'll come into here and in your environment variables, the two things that we need are found inside of the client folder. We need the stack API key and the stack system ID. You'll get both of those from your stack account and you'll add them into your .env folder. I'll go ahead and cut it here. Okay, now that I've added my environment variables for stack API key and stack system ID, we should have everything that we need to be able to now add it to our bot reply.
Let's just blind apply, see what happens. I don't see any changes here. Let's try this one. Still nothing. So let's, uh, we've got track event. We're not using track event, so let's create a new lib for each of those other things. Let's close the others, go back to the requirements. And please create a lib for uh, reply post. Please create a lib for reply post, which calls the at track events uh, function. Add updates at reply. Is there a reply? No. Cast bot botcast to no. We want the reply update at reply to call the lib you create. I don't think we need to do a global search. We'll just search those files that we've specifically tagged. Track reply post. So we'll make a new lib called track reply post.ts. And inside of here, we'll just click apply. Accept the changes. We need Felice Fier in this address. The yeah, original post. It didn't get our event history right, or our event metadata right. Response content. Parent post. Parent post. Post URL. Content. That should be everything. Now we just need that address. This constant files does not exist. We do have a const, which has stuff that we probably aren't using. Get channel ID from cast, are we using this? Get valid embed, are we using this? We are not using get valid embed, let's delete this lib. Um, are we using channels? Back to the top. Get channel ID from, are we using get channel ID from cast? Get channel ID from cast is not being used, so we delete it. Go back to constants. Anybody using channels? Nobody's using channels. We delete channels. Now we check, is anyone using content platforms? We've got get platform from URL. Is anyone using get platform URL? Nobody is. We're going to delete that. Next up, we track if get con if content platform is used. It's not. We delete it. Sort of VM. Is that being used anywhere? It is used inside of parse collection URL. Is anyone using parse collection URL? Get Zora metadata is. Is anyone using get Zora metadata? Nobody's using get Zora metadata, so we delete the entire Zora folder. We'll be back, Zora, don't worry. And then we check Zora to VM. Nobody's using Zora to VM. We delete it. Do we use anyone using Zora chains? Nobody's using Zora chains. We delete it. Now we can add in this Felice Viernes address, export cons. Felice Viernes address equals. For now, let's just, uh, because I have my address available, we'll use my address, but very soon we need to swap this out for a brand new address.
Okay. Okay. Felice Viernes's address is there. We need to import it from the correct file. Get rid of this other one. Copy. We got it all. Now let's try to track reply post inside of bot reply. We should just be able to blind accept. Let's see if we can. Get rid of the comment and then track it. Instead of cast, we just want response. What is this? Parent post. What is the parent post? Mm. For now, we'll just put the cast.post hash. Ah, look at that. Let's do the same thing if we can for. So this is for author username and post hash, but this is not. What's submit message? We'll, we'll leave them both as the same thing for now and we'll update it with correct information later. All right, we should now be able to run it. Let's try running yarn dev. Let's do it on a full terminal so that we have a little bit more context. Yarn dev. Okay, now we've got, it's replying to my last cast tracked reply event so it says that it just tracked the reply event we now see one event here if we go over to activity what do we see we can see that we got a reply post we got the content we got the url which we should be able to verify by going to it Goodness, yep, so it does look like it replied. It has the text in there. It has unique ID. It has a parent post, which is incorrect. So let's first commit this change and then let's fix that bug that it is incorrect. So let's add these changes. Let's say I track bot replies in stack. Commit those changes, sync those changes. After we do that, let's, we'll leave it. Um, 